So I've removed the traditional Creality the Ender 5 Plus run out sensor which works fine by the way, no problems with that except that it won't detect the filament jam. This is a smart filament sensor here from Big Tree Tech. I'm going to move this over the, to this side because it only senses filament once sort of past that stage. Now we've got this bare filament in here, just past the sensor, just as a test. I'm going to show you testing. Right, I'm going to ask Octopin to print this out. So I've got this 10mm cube which has some letters on it, well, they're hard to see there. It's a direction test and it's gone open, te uh, open top there. Let's do a slice. Print with octo print. And it goes to octo print. There's a thing in the marketplace. Oh, my camera needs leveling up. Pi camera. So it's printing, it's preheating. Going to go to 60 on the bed, 210 on the nozzle when it gets there after heating the bed up and then it'll start printing, it'll do auto tramming first. I'll come back after it's done the auto tramming and stuff like that otherwise we're going to be watching the video quite a while and then I'll show you the, the printer. Right, it's just coming into print although this won't be printing because I haven't got the filament fed all the way through to speak this is just a sim oops so I'm going to try but slipping. This is just to simulate. So I'm going to let it go a little bit. I'll try and show you the, the display. So I'm using the LCD 128 type display. This does have a touch sc screen on it, but I like this display better than the touch screen, which to me oh, seems a bit cluttered. I'm more used to this, and I like the way you can control the knob rather than pressing buttons. So I'll come back. I'll let this go until it gets so about... So there's a level on the right, it's already at 1.2. Oh yeah, because it's very fast print. Right, I'll have to, um, sorry about this problem, I'm going to have to put down my phone while I grab the filament. And uh, you won't see anything on the display anyway, not straight away. So I'm going to grab this filament and I'm going to take it out of here. There we are, let's try and get the display back on. Now it takes a while, as, you, as you'll see. I think I can probably change these settings in Marlin, how long it takes here. I think it goes on a good 50 millimetres, uh, sorry, 25 millimetres. I think it does, estimating. Just a second, let me get my hands in an awkward place there. And it's still trying to print, even though there's no filming in. But now, as you see, print a pause. Wait for filament change. It's going to try to unload and now the unload isn't working on my printer. Again that's probably setting in Marlin. So insert filament, press button to continue. So I'm going to put the phone down while I do that. And you probably hear the beeps there. You can change the number of beeps in Marlin. I know you can do that. So. 
So I've pushed up past this, the wheel, the wheel sensor in the smart filament sensor, that filament there. Now I have to do a cut, uh, sort of bit of a page as well. Oh no, I don't want to do this, do I? My nuts and bolts are coming loose. No, not yet anyway, I don't want to do it yet because it does do the feed. It doesn't do the unload but it does the feed. So I'm going to press the button. And you'll see it do a feed just now. Press button to continue. Oh, push, touch the screen there. Because this is a touch screen. Nozzle heating, please wait. Film and load. See, it's going to load the filament. It doesn't do a proper unload. But does a load the filament there. So that would load the filament. Now I need to page more, keep the run out sensor on, I need to page more which is about 50 millimetres, again that can be cheap. So leave the run out sensor on and you need to page more, that's after you've fed the filament in by hand, well, and it's fed it in, Just page more, that will give 50 millimetres, then you can go to continue. Go to continue and it will start printing, it will warm the nozzle up, make sure the nozzle's back in temperature, I don't know if it does switch off actually, we might lose a few degrees there, just make sure that the nozzle is the right temperature and then it comes in to print again, so it's going back to the position it left off at, but remember in that it has continued on a few well almost lays in this case on a small model like this but I think that's all adjustable in the Marlin, I hope it is. I need to change the settings in Marlin, I need to sort that out to be honest with you. I've been mucking about with this filament run out at Smart, quote mark Smart filament sensor for quite a bit until I found that this person gave me a tip and that's got it working as you will see just now. Okay, I'm going to um, force the fil filament to stop feeding by pressing the lever and holding the filament so that it won't move as if it was jammed. So this is simulating a filament jam now. And I've just started that and again it's going to take few seconds. You have to make sure that this doesn't move because even I think a slight movement will trigger that it's got the filament in. So I'm holding the lever firmly so that the filament won't move and gripping the filament by hand. And again we can see that that is wet, it's uh, packed the nozzle, take my weight for it, press any button to continue, wait for load, again it's going to look, do the loading action, for some reason it's not doing the unload action in my, my case, that's almost definitely mal and setting I think. I thought I had those settings correct but maybe not, I need to double check those. I'll show you the settings I've got. Right, I'm feeding the filament back in. Going past the wheel, I can feel that. Page more again. And it's... Then go to continue. Waiting for the nozzle to stabilise at the temperature. not started printing yet. Now it's starting to print back in its own position. I just moved this camera. Sorry about this but I've had a lot of problem with my cameras. There we are. It's 
starting to print again. So that's working all right. So I just moved the lever left, squeezed it and held the filament as if it was jammed. And that worked all right apart from it's going on far too long after it's got the signal that's jammed or whatever in my opinion. Far too long. Well, I hope I can adjust those settings in Marlin. I'll show you the Marlin settings I'm using at the moment, which are wrong and will need editing. I'll show you my Visual Studio settings here. I no normally mark my changes, any changes I made with Protomaker Sprint. That was my first printer. I'm on a Creality Ender 5 Plus now. It was a Big Tree Tech SKR 1.4 Turbo Control Board. So here's the filament going out. Changes, if any. Now it's not in here that we need to change the amounts, but well, not the amounts, it's like feeding and such like. But I've set that to seven, that's the recommended by Big Tree Tech for the smart filament sensor. And filament sensor filament motion sensor is turned on defined there and I've got some notes here that you need to add M412 space D10 to the start code and I put some notes there to remind me like a thank you to the person who did it I'll show you so this is the, it's in configuration advanced, advanced pause feature. This is the distances it's supposed to make, uh, move, sorry. Film change unload length 700, but it's not seem to be doing that. I'll have to figure this out later, but here's the settings that I've got at the moment. I'll show you the pins file the pins file on uh, Big Tree Tech website seems to be wrong if you ask me. So there's there's like when it runs out this is the it's probably something to do with the see the page I don't know, page length 50, that's when I'm asking it to page, that works, seems to work all right. The unload, uh, sorry, the, the load length works, 700. I've changed the retract length to 700, but that doesn't seem to do what I wanted to do. Anyway, let's have a look at the pins. Open file, go to source, go to pins, and we need to go to the 1768, even though we're on the 1769 setting, and then we need to find, where is it there, victory check. Ah, there we are. Filament, fill, run out, pin, one underscore six, uh, 26, one underscore 26. And that works fine on that plug. I'll show you a diagram. I think that's the main settings I've changed. 
So it's this part that you want to be plugging in. That's the same as a filament run out detector. No need to change the wires over on the Big Tree Tech 1.4, so as far as I remember. And if you look over here, uh, where are we up there? It's 126, so it's P120 underscore 26. So it's 5 volt ground and the signal pin. 5 volt ground and the signal pin. Look, now I believe, going by what Big Tree Tech suggests, is that you can use a plug on the display if you've got the right display unit. This is the old colours. Red, whoop, come on, focus, focus, focus. Red, black and yellow. So red, positive, black, negative on the ground, yellow signal. That's the old colours for the switch. P1, it's picking up the focus on my hand. P1 underscore 26, as you've seen in the pin file. So BL touch goes here, the BL touch uh, switch to pin wire goes there. So I use the command in my start code, I'll just show you that I'm using Kura 4.8. So go to here, go to manage printers. Machine settings, and here's my start code. I've got a comment, well, like a comment that doesn't do anything really, it's just to tell me that's the start code. And then it's got M412 space D10. And I'll put some notes in there about the user, so I'll display that on the screen, and then it just does the auto leveling the thing to clean the nozzle and then start printing so there's my start code the very first command really is the m412 d10 and that that because it's in the start code that will print out on every single print i do now